do 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 I got snakes in my bag. 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 I merely rocked in my bag. What's going on? It's your boy Snack King calling. I am here. And I'm hungry. Oh, I am excited because today, people, you seen it. We have another mukbang with my homie, my partner. Hey, Jalapeno Poppers. Welcome back to my channel. Ash Lapino Jalapeno coming to you with another car bong today and collaboration. Ash Lapino Jalapeno. And I'm excited about this one, man. As you guys know, I did the little mukbang. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Hey, don't 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 do that. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm don't sorry. do that. I did the little mug bang with uh Brenda Godfrey and that ended up pretty well. Like I had some good responses from there. I was I was pretty shocked at myself and so I put out a poll saying did I did people want to see any more from me? Um it was a long time ago. I forget what it said. I think they were saying they wanted to. I hope so. If not it's cool, because you're about to get it anyway. Um, I had to do another one with Ash Lapino Jalapeno before I did one with anybody else, man. So we're going to get into that, man, and uh, just talk a little bit. I don't even know what to talk about. Uh, um, honestly, uh, uh, the, the the dates and times got mixed up between me and Ash Lapino, and um, she, wanted, she, she thought it was going to be a this Monday release and I was going for a next Monday release. So what I'm going to try to do is do it this Monday because I just happen to be at my mom's house and she lives right next to an IHOP. And that's what we do for y'all people. IHOP, baby. Uh, what's cool is IHOP got like a new, some new little items and they got this happy hour, this IHOPy hour thing that I didn't know nothing about. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to get into those things because there's new items on there and it was mad cheap. Like, I don't know if y'all know, 2 to 10 p.m. every day, they're giving away the farm, bro, for like five bucks, six dollars or something like that. I think you can get like a burger and fries and a drink for six or something like that. And that ain't fast food. That's IHOP. It's, it's a little different, right? I would think so. So anyway, so we about to dive into some new items that they got up there, man. Um, I know they got this candied bacon waff pancakes or waffles or something like that. And uh, they got some new chicken wings, which I feel like it's just the same chicken wings they always had, but I could be low rock. And they got this new like steak bacon thing. Whew, I'm excited about that one. So we are gonna see. It's a little difficult, man. I know I'm talking like crazy, but I just don't like the dead air time. That's why when I edit my stuff, it just, the dead air is be out of there. So here we got that bacon. Oh, that looks slappy happy, baby. I'm excited about that one. A dollar fifty for this. <laughs> this was, this, this, but it's new. It's new and it's bacon, so whatever. This right here is our chicken strips. Looking a little burnt there, IHOP. Looking a little too crispy. But uh, we're going to enjoy those. Those were three fifty. So we got to imagine. That was, that was a nice little price for three chicken strips like that. Pretty nice little size. And then we got this thing. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm supposed to, oh, it's a do-it-yourself kind of thing. Okay. See on on the on the uh, <laughs> on the uh, on the picture, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. It don't look like this. That's why I was looking like that at first. But uh, yeah, man. There we got the pancakes with some more bacon, and it looks like there's bacon in the pancakes. If y'all didn't know, your boy likes a little bacon. But this also was three fifty. 350, two pancakes, bacon, slap of bacon on top. I think there's bacon inside of it. Bruh, bacon on the bottom one, 250. So, I mean, I mean, 350, excuse me. So, I mean, bruh, that's a win. Honey mustard for my chicken. 
This is some caramel sauce you're supposed to uh, put on the pancakes. It don't come with no syrup or nothing like that. Some more honey mustard. I think. I don't know if y'all can tell. These are two different colors. I don't know which one's which. I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. So, yeah, I already took out that. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Some little whipped cream on top, man. Salute to them for not putting it all on top and making it soggy. You know what I mean? Who knows where I was going, even though I was just going to the parking lot to film. <laughs> so, you know, I wish it was put together so I didn't have to do it in the whip. But uh, anyway... I don't know what I'm gonna talk to y'all people about today. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Um, so we're just gonna do some rambling and some eating. Cool. Uh, I know. I know. Uh, so I'm over here at my mom's house. I can tell y'all that, man. I'm over here at my mom's house, trying to spend a little quality time with her. They're moving to Texas. I can't. I can't really tell what that is. I'm scared. So my mom is moving to Texas, and uh, I don't really know how I feel about it, to tell you the truth. Oh, no. This is definitely for the pancakes. <laughs> this is like some, oh, it's kind of cinnamon. Well, that's going to be some sweet pancakes right there, but I'll tell you what. All right, so anyway, again, take three. My mom is moving to Texas, and I don't know how I feel about it. My wife keeps asking me, and she's like, how do you feel about it? How do you, have you, has it, has it processed that your mom's just not going to be here no more? Because, you know, I grew up with my mom. So since a little pup, I've been around. You know, I'm 37, but it's like, that's my mama, you know? So I don't know. But I think it's going to be cool, though, because, you know, it's going to give me a reason to go down to Texas because my dad's actually in Texas, too. They're actually both about to be in Houston. And my grandma's staying out there. My sisters are talking about moving out there. Everybody about to leave me, man. No, I just can't. I can't, man. I got stuff going on up here. I can't be bouncing. These chicken, these chicken little tenders. All I'm supposed to be showing y'all stuff. I don't, I don't know how to do all this stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. Love, love, love it. Come on, we were thinking, getting sad and emotional. Let's talk about battle rap. <laughs> Let's talk about battle rap. Which is another persona of mine that I have, bro. I used to go by this battle uh, this battle rap vlogger named BP the Vlogger. BP, because my name Brandon Phillips. And I loved it, man. I still love it. I love battle rap, man. I'll, ne I'll never stop loving it. I just, I'm not, it's weird, I'm not, like, in love with it. Like, I used to just watch all kind of battle rap every day, all day. It was, like, addicting. I was, like, a, it was a drug for me. I just fell out of that stuff, man. Shout out my guy, B.A., man. Shout out my guy, Yo-Yo. Shout out my guy, Capo. What about me? Shout out my guy, Harlem Fresh, man. I just realized I got all this food and nothing to drink. Oh, no, you big dummy. <laughs> I'm stupid. No, oh, hey. Hey. Hope she didn't backlash. Uh, anyway, man. Hey, shout out to them guys, man, because uh, for a little bit there, man, I, I was just not. You know what I mean? People was like, they wanted to see me vlog some more. but Because I used to vlog about the Northwest scene. So, Washington and Portland, we got a pretty mean scene out here. We got a pretty some dope characters, man. Uh, some of y'all, 
that might not know the Northwest. You might have heard of Stewie Newton. You might have heard of uh, Jay the Nightwing. You might have heard of Hypnosis or Patron. Stewie's actually about them today. It's so's MT Money. Uh, two different parts, though. There's Stewie's battling in Texas and MT Money battling West Coast Elite. So this is actually on right now, so I'm going to hurry this up. <laughs> but look at that. Honey mustard is fire. Anyway. I used to blog up here, man, and I, I wanted to shout out them guys, man, because they got me back into it. I actually care again. Nancy Kerrigan. See, I'll be just hearing bars everywhere. First of all, you're stupid. But, um, but, I'm full right now. How do y'all eat so much? Oh my God. Anyway, uh, yeah, man, I, I, uh, I, I fell out of love. I got back in love. Just shout out my guy. Shout out my crew, man. War Sport. Uh, get your bars up, media. Make sure you guys subscribe to them as well. Uh, and show them some love, too, man, because uh, they do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. It's weird having these long conversations with just myself. Let's slap into some of this bacon, though. See what that's like. Hey, I don't know what's weirder. The fact that I'm sitting in the parking lot eating bacon that's actually very yummy right now uh, and talking to my camera or the people in this car right here that's just staring at me doing it. <laughs> at least subscribe to the channel, player. I'm just saying. Mm. Yo, this is yummy. This is yummy. Yo. So recently, let's talk, bro. I don't ever get into the YouTube drama and none of that stuff like that, but let's have a conversation. There is things I will not tolerate. <laughs> I not, not tolerate and can't bring myself down to do you know, as I sip out of my daughter's sippy cup. There was a gentleman, I don't even know what the dude's name is. Dude's a goofball, bro. I don't care how much the, the YouTube talking about paying me. I'm still a grown man at the end of the day. I still got an answer to somebody. This man faked a whole BTS meal, bro. A whole BT... So BTS, BTS, if you don't know, they're just like Korean K-pop group. I don't know who they are. Where my little? Oh, okay. There we go. There, are... bruh. I wish y'all was there when the one question I asked her was, "Do I have forks in there?" She said, "Yes, they're in there with the sauces." I have no forks. No. Hey, but you mugbangers like that little nasty. So we gonna go. I'm sorry. I mean stuff. So we gonna just go ahead and just eat this like this. We gonna just make little tacos, okay? I can't believe the one question I asked. I said, "Do you have forks and silverware in there?" And I don't know why I had a differentiate to differentiate to. That's a word. But I asked her, "Do they have forks and silverware in there?" She said, "Yes." Hmm. Let me get that. Uh. How was my service number real quick? Give me a free uh, big stack. But anyway, this man here. I didn't see a lot of low stuff, people. I seen I seen the boy Dame drops, fake a whole. <laughs> this man faked a whole divorce, bro. <laughs> Four views. This is crazy, bro. Uh, maybe it's just me. 
Maybe this is a thing uh, uh, YouTube makes you try to do. He had to fake a whole divorce. And anyway, so this guy here, he fakes, he fakes the, the BTS meal. It comes out on Chewboom. Us YouTubers were excited, but not excited, because real talk is a it's a freaking chicken McNugget meal. A medium drink and medium fries. It just has this Korean sauce to it, right? A Korean dipping sauce. Big whoop, okay? But we're gonna run out and do it because you guys are gonna watch it and we're gonna get views and hopefully I can get over 1,300. But, neither here nor there, I'd at least wait, right? This man goes out here and does this whole, got the BTS early because he's a fan of it and stuff like that. Sorry, I meant to show y'all that, man. This is looking kind of yummy, actually. I'm not going to front on you. Look at that. Can you see that? Looking nice. It's looking nice. But anyway, so so then he's like, yeah, I'm a BTS fan, so I must have got this early. My bro, on the website of Chew Boom, it tells you it comes with nuggets Fries and a drink in your behind did not even take the time to read that or at least get chicken. He got a cheeseburger, a large Sprite, <laughs> and a large fry or something. He just was like, there's a BTS meal. I'm just going to make some stuff up. Then he got like these trading cards and I think like a, a, a figurine or something like that. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. And he's killing. He's killing. Last last I checked, he had like 77,000 views on that thing Woo! so cinnamon and caramel for sure oh with the bacon hold on i'll continue the story in a second mm, mm, mm. Got to Can I hit it from the back? Mm. Bro. This is not Corey Styles approved at all. You're gonna be so mad. I'm gonna do or what? Um, anyway, where was I at? You got 77,000. 77,000 people. I was there. Okay, so this is where I was at. This is why I don't do this. <laughs> this is where I was at. So I, I understand. Get, get people watching you, get people looking at your stuff, get people like, oh my god, look at this guy. He got it already, and just getting them over there to your channel, but bruh. What happens when people is like, that's not it? Do you have, have you got your story ready for that? Oh, this must have been a one time deal or something. This must, like, bro, what are you going to do then? You know? Now, I don't think he went up in viewers. I think a lot of his views, like, I think at first he had some views on there that was like, oh my God, thank you so much. But then, you know, he had people coming through like, bro, what the hell is this? This is not nothing they talking about uh, <laughs> right there on a free website. I do not pay for Chuba. They directly come to me and tell me stuff. Not like directly, like I don't know Mr. Boom himself, but you know what I mean? Like they tell me what's up. <laughs> it's for the public. So there's people that's from the public that's like, yo, that is not it, bruh. He's not responding to none of those. None of those. Nah. But the people that's like, oh my God, you're the goat. He's like, oh, I'm just a regular YouTuber. Clown. He's a clown. I don't care. I don't care. Don't make yourself clowns. Don't sell out for, don't, <laughs> for YouTube. <laughs> I, hey, man, that, I told y'all before, man, if y'all been here before, Dame Drops is the only reason why I'm even doing this. Dead serious. I, I used to watch him and Battle Rap. That, Dame Drops was the only thing I watched besides Battle Rap. 
And I do not watch him, not subscribe to him or nothing like that over that goofy ass marriage stuff, bro. Like, what, what are you doing? This is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid, bro. He gained people from it, though, because people felt bad for him. I don't know how y'all couldn't see this was stupid. Ain't no way in hell I'm going through a divorce with my wife and, like, let me just blog this on YouTube. And he's all like, yeah, so I had to stay home today. I had to look for a place. That what? This is so B-rated, straight to BET movie right here, bro. Come on, bro. What kind of weird girl is that to be like, yeah, just play with our marriage for YouTube views. Like, she's a weirdo, too. I don't even care. <laughs> this is how I be thinking sometimes. This was way too much. <laughs> but this is how I be thinking, man. I be trying to be nice for YouTube, bro. But real talk, man, some of y'all is goofy, bro. Some of y'all goofy, bro. Maybe I'm goofy to you. I don't know. Not everybody likes everybody. Everybody's all kumbaya and hubbuck too on here, man. Mm -mm. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. But yeah, I don't. I don't tolerate the goofiness, man. I don't tolerate the the fake stories for views and stuff like that. It just makes me not want to believe nothing else you're talking about. And if I'm looking at, and if I'm subscribed to you for your honest opinion on something, how the hell am I supposed to trust that when I just got you in a, in a bold face lie, a stupid lie, a very, very stupid lie. Why did I care about you being divorced? Didn't even know you were married. <laughs> you feel me? Why do I care about you having a BTS meal? I didn't even know who you were. And now I don't even care who you are, bro. You know what I mean? That's just what I'm saying. Like it's dumb, stupid lies for nothing for something for them excuse me but nothing for me so boohoo you didn't gain me as a subscriber i'm sure your life is over but you look like a piece of crap to me that's on the set <laughs> well i went i went random enough i I went random enough. I almost choked. I have nothing to drink. <laughs> and I don't want to get in trouble. Because <laughs> your boy's snapping right now. So uh, shout out my girl, Ash Lapino Jalapeno. Make sure you go over there. Check out her stuff. Subscribe to her channel if you're not for some reason. She's a uh, vegetarian, I believe. Not vegan. She's one of the V's. And uh, she can go ahead and show you what to eat, when to eat it, and all that good stuff like that. Probably not when to eat it because you eat when you're hungry. But you know what I mean. If you're from Ash Lapino's page, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Take a look around. Check it out. If you like it. Stay a minute. You know what I mean? It's your boy, Snack King Cole. I'll try before you buy it. I tried it. Go buy it. Big. Told him, do we want to get a candy out my window? I got the baby roof and all the Kit Kats, too. So if you got a sweet tooth, holla at me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>